G'day guys, Cam Wild Wild Touring and welcome to another episode. So I know it's really early on in the year to be doing a video like this, but I've got a really good reason for doing it so early, and that's because I wanted to be first. Now, the real reason is, it's a stressy time of the year in the lead up to Christmas, and I thought this was a wicked opportunity for me to talk about some of this stuff. These are the gifts that are really good for caravanning, camping, full driving, uh, touring, and then a good opportunity for me to give some of away to you guys. Stressy time of the year, and if I can do a little something to give back to you guys and take a little bit of that stress off you, then that's a good thing. So starting from today, I'm gonna to have a little code word somewhere in a video um, for the next 10 weeks, and I've got 10 giveaways over those 10 weeks. G'day guys, Future Cam here. This week's giveaway is gonna be a Oricom handheld UHF. It's the same unit that I use. To go on the running to win this this week, all you need to do is look for the code word. It'll be somewhere up here on the screen during this video. When you see it, bang it in the comments section below and I'll choose someone at random. So the gear that I'm chatting about today, it's a mixture of uh, my own merchandise, some shameless self-promotion there. Um, <laughs> there's also some stuff that I've got discount codes for and if I do, I'll put them in the bottom of the screen. And then there's stuff from brands that I have absolutely no affiliation with. But it is all good gear and it is all stuff that Tiff and I genuinely do use. It varies in price, this stuff, from about 10 bucks to a couple of hundred bucks, I think is yeah, it's probably the most expensive thing. Um, I will put the price on the bottom of the screen. So the first thing I'll chat about is our range of towels, and then I can clear them off the table and we'll have a bit more room. However, you will notice that they take up far less room than normal towels. So we do uh, hand towels, we do bath towels, and we do beach towels. Uh, obviously, they're all different sizes, but they, ha they are bigger than other brands of travel towels, and that's because I'm a big dude. And the reason that we came up with this line of stuff is we just couldn't find a really nice uh, compact bath and beach towel initially. Um, and then we sort of moved on to hand towels because people were asking for them for matching sets as well. So they're quick dry compact, premium waffle weave microfiber. They're all the same material. And Tiff's actually done a really good job um, just recently doing away with the single use plastic that was uh, covering these. Yeah, that's our range of towels. They're fully in stock and on the website now. Let's clear them and I'll talk about the next thing. So the next one's from Hardcore. These go for about 110 bucks. The first time I saw them was in Pete from WA Camping Adventures video. I think one of his mates had these on a trip and I loved them and I had to get a set for myself. They come in a nice little pack like that that they all live in. You've got four individual LED lights. They're USB rechargeable, and they've got a couple of different settings for how dim or bright or orange or flashing. They're magnetic, so they can stick on things, which is pretty handy for around camp. And then they've also got this little band. So what I often do is I, I stick out my 270 degree awning, and the elastic will loop over my awning poles and I can have you know a couple of these up around the awning just to spread some light. Probably one of the nicest functions of the kit is that it comes with a single USB-A to four USB micro uh, charging cords. So you can charge all four of them at once through one USB port. I just think that's really clever. It's a nice feature and it all fits back in the case like that. Product from Offroad Living here. Offroad Living are the mob that do the uh, lithium batteries, solar, inverter, and all that kind of gear that's gone into my caravan and my car. They also do jump starters. They go for about 190 bucks, I think, something like that. Mine's a couple of years old. I've used it to jump start my car plenty of times. I've probably like jump started six or seven times before even having to recharge this thing. It does have a little battery monitor on the side, tells you how full of charge it is. Oh, that's on its last light. I haven't charged that for a while. Hopefully this works. Woohoo! I better charge that jump pack. It's got a, a, a light if you needed that. Um, USB outlets to charge your kids iPads in the back of the car or whatever. That's really handy and it's guaranteed to start any 12 volt motor. So I jump started my mate's uh, big V8 Land Cruiser with that. No dramas whatsoever. So that's a really nice bit of kit from off-road living. Sticking with them for a second is their headlamp. Again, I think I've had that for about two years. It's just a really nice head torch. It's easy to adjust the angle. It clips away from the headband, uh, so you can use it like a little handheld. It's got a couple of brightness settings, and it's got an amber setting as well there. I also like that it's got a little magnet. I've used that a few times under the bonnet to shine down uh, on the engine bay when I've been doing things at night. 
that's really nice. I think that goes for about 90 bucks. It's uh, USB rechargeable as well. You've all seen me at different times use a thermocell. So these are for getting rid of mosquitoes and other bugs and stuff at camp. They work really, really well. Probably the only drama I had with the original one that I used to use was that the recharge kits, the gas and the pads are quite expensive. So now I have this backpacker version, which I think goes for 60 or 70 bucks. And that screws onto these bigger gas bottles, which is much more economic. Um, so the backpacker version of the thermocell is really good. On that note, if you ever need to buy these kinds of um, gas canisters for like your jet boils, Kmart do these for $4.50 or five bucks, if you can get them. People stock up and take them all off the shelves. So that's a nice little segue to chat about the jet boil. This is new to me. Um, as you know, or as you might not know, I brought out a new pour over coffee, which I, I don't have here to show you, unfortunately. So that makes good camp coffee really, really simple now. All I need is hot water. So I thought I'd, I'd try a jet boil. Um, I've had mates that have got these and um, they're just a really nice bit of kit. They are expensive and that got me thinking, a good mate of mine, Gaz, uses the Kmart brand, very similar, um, Camp Master. In fact, I think that one's a, maybe a liter and that one's 800 mil. You can get the jet boil in different sizes, but it gets more expensive the bigger you go. So I was really interested to, to buy both and I'm gonna have a play with both and, and, and see how they differ. I might even do a video review on it if you're interested, but massive price difference. So a couple of options there. I'm sure the jet boil is better quality, probably justifies the price, but um, it's nice to have options. Let's chat about stuff from iCheck. So, I check gear I've been running for a couple of years. These are hands down the best deflator I have ever used. They're small and compact. They work really, really, really well. And I've got two of them to give away. Um, so that'll be coming up in later videos. So if you want to win some deflators, make sure you're watching. Uh, I check do a heap of gear that I've been using. Their tire pressure monitoring system is brilliant. Uh, I'll chat about that in another video. But he's also recently brought out a first aid kit. I've not used one yet. This is my one. I've got one of these to give away as well. So I've got a bit of gear from iCheck um, to give away. Looks like a really nice kit, actually. Um, heaps of stuff in there. Lots of bandages, stuff like that. A good thing to have stowed away in your drawers. This one's a bit of an oddball, but uh, I wanted to throw it in there because I'm forever using this and I really do rate it. So I don't like taking uh, really good kitchen knives away camping because they get wrecked. This is a Kiwi knife. These go for like 12 or 13 bucks. They often come with a wooden handle, but there's a, there's a few different models like this one, which is the 173P, which come with plastic handles. Look, they're made in Thailand. Um, they're like, yeah, 13 or $15. They're really cheap. The steel is very, very thin. So it probably loses its edge fairly quickly, but it's also very simple to sharpen. It doesn't come with a sheath. Uh, unfortunately, what I was doing in the D-Max and what I'll probably do in the 300, I've got to figure out how, but I'll get one of those magnetic strips again to, um, it is mag magnetic to, uh, to stow it like that. Uh, tie gear. Again, I think this is an idea I pinched from Pete. Tie gear, tie down ropes or guy ropes, whatever you want to call them, brilliant. Just a really neat solution to, um, to storing your tie down ropes. So if you haven't seen them before, it's actually got a, um, I think it's a ball bearing tensioner. Really quite clever. It's as simple as this. Aluminium carabiners on the end. Pull out that little tensioner. That's from Thai Gear. That's really, really nice gear. I think these retail for about 25 bucks each, but I have got a set to give away. So keep watching for the next 10 weeks and you can win a set of them as well. Um, condiments, I know this is unusual, but two condiments that I absolutely love. Again, I've pinched this one from Pete. Jeez, Pete, you've given me some good ideas over the years. Uh, Blue's Hog Raspberry Chipotle is the most interesting, delicious uh, barbecue sauce I've ever tried. That's a ripper. If you can find it, it's hard to find. I think Tiff's been bloody importing it lately, but that is really, really good. If you know where I can find this in Perth, please let me know in the comments so I can get it cheaper. But that stuff is fantastic. And Crunchili. You won't find Crunchili in tubs this big. I'm a super fan and uh, I know Barry, the owner, so he, he hooks me up with big tubs like this. It normally comes in a, a tub a little bit smaller than that, but it's like, you know, 10 or $12, whatever it is, um, from Woolies and IGA select stores. Uh, and it's a condiment that you put on top of your pasta, your steaks, your eggs, your avocado, whatever. Uh, it's crunchy, it's got chili through it. It's like toasted onions and toasted oats and stuff like that with chili in oil. That's beautiful. 
Uh, from Oricom, you guys know I'm big fans of Oricom gear. I've been using it for many, many years. I do run a Oricom UHF in the D-Max, and I'll also have one in the 300 series when I get around to it. Um, even if you don't run an Oricom UHF, their uh, magnetic microphone mount will, you, will work with other brands of UHFs. It's a really nice product for about 60 bucks. Um, it's a universal fit, and yeah, the idea is that your handpiece will just a magnetic clip straight to your dash. You don't have to stuff around trying to find the hook every time you're putting it away while you're driving or whatever. So they're about 60 bucks. I also really like their handheld radios. They're waterproof, dustproof. They're about 250 bucks, um, but they're something that'll, that should last you a lifetime. They are 12 volt rechargeable and 240 volt rechargeable. They come in a few colors. There's a pink one there. I've got a black one and a pink one. They do a lime one. Um, the range is really good. They're a five watt. Uh, you give them to your kids when they're away from camp. Tiff uses them to help me reverse the caravan into tight spots, and trust me, I need that help sometimes. They're really good, and Oricon have been kind enough to uh, give me a couple of these to give away to you guys too. I think I've got three of those, and one of them is a special edition one, which I can't even tell you about yet. But um, just keep watching episodes every Saturday morning. A lot of this stuff I'll be giving away. Uh, what's next? You know I love my camp cooking. Meter probe. They're like 200 bucks or something, they're not cheap, but it's a Bluetooth meat thermometer. So I stick that into my meat, I set up my cook with their app on my smartphone. I can choose what internal temperature I want and I can monitor the temperature inside the pot or inside the barbecue and the temperature inside the meat. It does both. It takes a temperature from inside the probe and also a temperature from outside the probe that's sticking outside the meat. I really like that, runs off AAA batteries. Um, use it in my camp oven, I use it in my Weber, my Ziggy, um, wherever, or on a rotisserie over the fire. For a meter, it's, it's quite expensive. It's more expensive than other meat probes, but it's like foolproof. I really like that. Here's one I get asked about all the time. Smart Space Fry Pan. These are about 110, 120 bucks. Um, it works on induction, which is why I first got it, because I had an induction cooker on the D-Max. Um, but it'll work on gas, it'll work on the fire, wherever. I use this thing, the handle's detachable, the handle's really solid. And when the handle's detached, there's no plastic or anything on this anywhere. So I use this on the fire, um, I stick the entire thing in my Weber or my Ziggy with the hood down and use it as like a, a roasting pan. Uh, it's really versatile and the handle can clip on that way or that way. So I love that, that's a smart space fry pan. Get a lot of questions about that. Also get a lot of questions about this one. This is my oil sprayer. I'm not gonna do it in here because I just cleaned the carport. But um, yeah, just a little oil sprayer. Uh, they're about 13 bucks. The brand is Decor and you get them from Woolies or Coles. I think you still wanna keep it upright. I, I wouldn't put it sideways in my drawers. Um, it'll probably leak everywhere. But yeah, I really like that. It just makes it um, easier camp cooking. From Anaconda now, I think I got this. The little aluminium shovel. You've got to have a shovel uh, for the toilet, for camp cooking, for if you get bogged or whatever, for self-recovery. What I like about this one is it's super lightweight. Um, it's anodized aluminium, so it's not going to get rusty and, and, uh, and corroded and gross. It's got adjustable length uh, handle, so it clips out there as well. So that's long enough for me, and I'm like six foot three. Um, and it's got a nice wide flat mouth there. It'll also break into three parts if you want to stick it in your drawers or something like that. So it literally, you know, pretty much folds up to nothing. I think it came in a bag like this, but I've lost the bag. But yeah, that's like 50 or 60 bucks from Anaconda. There's a few different brands that do it. I think Navigator do one as well. Uh, my coffee cups. I do four different colored coffee cups. They're insulated. They're, oh, I want to say 360 mil. These we developed because I couldn't, I mean, like there are some really nice insulated cups already out there on the market, but I couldn't find the perfect one. I'll tell you what I wanted from a cup. Not that. I wanted it to perfectly fit a stubby of beer or a can of beer. I wanted it to fit underneath a, a, a coffee machine, like a pod machine or something like that, or a proper um, espresso machine. I wanted to have a smooth mouth, so it would be like a push lid, not have um, thread in there, if you know what I mean, because it feels weird on your mouth. And I wanted a couple of nice colors. So we couldn't find anything that was perfect, so we made something ourselves. Oh, the other reason, because they do, a lot of people do those tulip style uh, cups you've seen. You know what I mean? They don't fit in cup holders. This fits in cup holders. It's like a standard sort of 
size cup. So it'll fit in your cup holders in your car, your cup holders in your camp chair. Uh, it's perfect with my pour over coffee. Um, it's a really good thing. Right, I think I covered that all. Um, so thank you for watching and make sure you continue to watch for the next 10 weeks or so. I've got heaps of this gear to give away. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, next couple of videos you see will be from Christmas Oil and make sure you check them out. Not only so you can go in the chance to win some of this gear, but also because Christmas Island was awesome. It's one of the best holidays I've ever done. It's a totally different style of uh, holiday, not something we normally do and not something I'll be doing a lot of, but it'll be interesting to share something different with you guys. I reckon I've nearly captured how amazing it really was. Uh, I got some pretty cool footage over there, experienced some pretty cool things. So let me know what you think of Christmas Island. Cheers guys, I'll see you in the next one.